Hey everyone, Howard here from Iceflow Studios coming at you with another hidden gem in Photoshop. This video covers the clone source panel which many users don't really know about. Here's a photo of a tiger. Many times in your project you may be looking to increase the length of an object, such as the tail of an animal. Your first instinct would be to grab the clone stamp tool, which can be activated with the S key on your keyboard, hold down Option on the Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on the area that you want to become the source, and then clone the tail outwards. But as you can see, when dealing with objects that curve, your clone really doesn't line up. This is where the clone source panel comes into play. Under the window menu at the top, click on clone source to activate this panel. Once it's visible, for this example we want to focus on the rotation, which is in this box here. Clicking my mouse inside this box will allow me to adjust the rotation using my arrow keys, and because Photoshop CS5 shows you a live preview of your clone, I'm able to place my mouse in the general area that I want the clone to take place, hold down my shift key, and then press my up arrow a few times in order to rotate the clone source clockwise. Now I'm able to increase the length of the tail while keeping the rotation looking as natural as possible. The clone source panel also allows you to adjust the width and height of your source and you can also save up to four additional sources within your document. So the next time you're struggling with the clone stamp, remember that the clone source panel is there to help you out. Take care.